A few weeks ago, my good friend Luke here felt that a fun idea of tagging me and a few other YouTube friends to give you an interesting list. The 10 movies I shockingly have not seen. I made the list, somehow I counted it down to 10. Here we go. Before we get started, make sure you kick off the conversation in the comments below and tell me your 10 or 15 or 20 movies you have shockingly never seen. Those big movies that any film buff should have seen to call themselves a film buff, I guess. I don't make the rules. <laughs> and also, if this is the first video you're clicking on my channel to watch, first of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Why don't you consider clicking the subscribe button because it does wonders to put my content out there and you'll always be aware of whenever there's more great content. And because I'm such a nice guy, or at least I like to think so, I'm giving you an honorable mention. I have never seen the original West Side Story from 1961. I know it's about two gangs, it's basically modern day Romeo and Juliet, but I really couldn't surmise the movie if you asked me to. Now, why is this only an honorable mention, you ask? I'm very glad you asked because I do plan on watching it in late November or December, right before the new one by Steven Spielberg does come out. It's not like I don't plan to watch the other movies on this list, I just don't have a precise date for them. But with that said, that's my shocking honorable mention, so let's go to the other ones and see if it shocks you even more. To start us off, and you probably know this because I talk about it all the time, I have never seen the Evil Dead sequels, Evil Dead 2 or Army of Darkness. I've only seen the original a long time ago, so you might as well include it on the list with its sequels. I just never happened to watch them. I enjoy the first one fine enough, but I've never been attracted or pulled into watching the other ones. One of the reasons is really because the first one didn't stick that much out to me. I enjoy myself watching it and then I basically forgot that film and also it just never happened to be on any streaming service at least that I could find. I did not stumble upon them. It's one of those films or at least one of those movie franchises that I want to complete one day but it's just not the top priority for me and so the sequel especially do make this list. At number 9 comes the Blues Brothers, a classic in every regard and yet one of those films that I know very well about its existence, I know who stars in it, but I have no idea what it is actually about. I don't know what the story is in this film, I have no clue. This is actually the favorite movie of one of my friends from film school. He loves this film, he talks about it all the time, his jaw constantly dropped when I told him I had never seen this film and I told him several times we had repeated conversations <laughs> about me not ever having seen Blues Brothers which he loves so much again one of those films that I do have kind of an interest in I just have never found it and so it managed to avoid me up until this point. At number 8 is kind of a biggie. It's a movie filled with controversy as far as who actually directed it is concerned because the classic Poltergeist is a horror movie I have never seen. I actually do know quite a bit about this one. I know who stars in it. I know who directed it. I know who supposedly directed it as well. But I just never happened to watch it. Again, I don't have a legit reason for never having seen this film. It just managed to avoid me. It's one of those I do have a lot of interest in watching it, but it's because I also never seen this one that I never happened to see the 2015 remake, which in fairness, I've heard it's shit, so I probably will never watch it, but this is one I definitely need to take off that list of movies I have never seen. Coming in at number 7 is yet another sequel because I have seen its two predecessors. There are up there with the greatest films of all time, but I have never seen The Godfather Part 3. I've never seen the original version, i never seen the latest version that came out with the Coda nickname, I believe that's what they call it. I just managed to avoid this film. And again, it's not an active avoidance of the film. I just love the first two Godfathers, and then when it came to this one, I heard so many bad things that I actually maybe subconsciously did actively avoid it, even if I didn't realize it myself. It's just a film 
that I always struggled with giving it a chance because it's such a long film, because it's so divisive, and because the second one actually closes its story really nicely. I definitely have to give it a chance one day. It just hasn't happened yet, and that's why it makes this list, because it's that shocking that I never completed the Godfather trilogy, even though I have OCD about these things. I have to finish movie trilogies. I have to finish movies. I fucking finished the Kissing Booth trilogy. I have to finish the Godfather trilogy. Coming in at number six, more sequels. I have seen and I love the original Matrix. I have never watched The Matrix Reloaded or The Matrix Revolutions. Maybe because of the word of the mouth. Maybe because when I first watched the original Matrix, I was so young and I did not care for it at that time. I never happened to see the sequels. And when I had a fully developed brain, I enjoyed and loved the original Matrix. But because I heard so many shitty things about the sequels, I just never happened to watch them. I guess I will have to watch them before um, Resurrections come out or whatever they're gonna call it, but again, I've just been avoiding them because they sound and they look so bad to me. I've also never seen The Animatrix, so again, another bonus for you guys. I'm just someone very nice that shares movies I've never seen before, but I probably should have, even if only to be able to talk about them. At number five comes another big shock because I love the filmography of these two filmmakers who always work together and I do love the show that is based on the movie but I have never seen the Coen Brothers classic Fargo. Again, I have no idea what this movie is about. I know it happens in a snowy landscape. I know it stars Steve Buscemi, Francis McDormand. It's directed by the Coens, who actually have directed a lot of movies I love, and one of them being my favorite comedy of all time. But for some reason, Fargo the movie has always escaped me. I really don't know why. Again, it's one of those things that I just never found it on a streaming service. I never found it on Blu-ray in my local stores. So it just managed to be seen by my person throughout my 28 years of existence. It's one of those big gaps, especially when you consider that I do watch the show Fargo and I do love the show Fargo. I just never happened to watch the original Fargo. Coming in at number four, we have 12 Monkeys. And if you know me, this is probably one of the weirdest movies to be on this list because it's directed by Terry Gilliam, a psychedelic filmmaker that always intrigues me what he's going to do on screen. It stars Bruce Willis when he still gave a shit. It stars Brad Pitt at the beginning of his peak. And it's a fucking time travel movie. At least from what I've been able to gather. Because again, I haven't seen the movie. But from what I know, and maybe I'm wrong, 12 Monkeys is a time travel movie. I fucking love time travel. Inject time travel into my veins. If there's one thing in movies that I wish was real, was time travel but I have never seen 12 Monkeys. Unlike Fargo in this case, I have actually also not seen the show because I always plan to watch the movie before actually watching the show because I don't want to know the twists and turns in this case. Fargo is a completely different series from the movie. It just doesn't tell the same story. And from what I've gathered, the show 12 Monkeys does tell the same story from the movie. So again, I've always wanted to watch this film. I don't know why I still haven't, but this is one of those that is very high up on the list because I actually, I really want to watch this. I just have no way of doing it. <laughs> We're about to count down the top three movies on this list. And even though I didn't think of a particular order, they're still the top three. So don't forget to start off your conversation and give me your list of the shocking movies you have never actually seen, but maybe should have by this point. At number three, we have another movie that I barely know anything about. I know two people who star in it, and I know this one scene. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! That's right, I have never seen Dustin Hoffman's Midnight Cowboy. Again, I have no idea what it's about. If I'm not mistaken, they're male prostitutes in New York. That's really all I can say about Midnight Cowboy. I have no clue what this movie is about. Again, I know Dustin Hoffman is in it, John Voight is in it, 
and that is it. And I know that scene on the car, which was improvised and all that, it wasn't supposed to happen. This is the movie that I'm probably the most blind on when it comes to this list, because I just know that it's a classic, it's revered, it's appreciated, but I have never laid my eyes on it. Just missing the number one spot and coming in at number two on my list is a movie that you've probably heard that I have not seen. Again, I talk about it all the time, but it's one of those big movies that someone like me should have seen. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I've never seen this movie. It looks like a ton of fun. It looks right up my alley. I do actually really like Matthew Broderick. I've heard all the theories and speculation about the deep meanings and hidden messages in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He's not actually real. He's an imagination of Cameron and whatnot. But I have never, ever seen it. My housemate says that I have to watch this movie with her when I first watch it. So I don't know where it's going to happen. It makes it up the list because it's probably the most famous, the most watched film by others that I haven't seen. But whenever I do see it, it's not up to me, just so you guys know. Ending off this list, coming in at number one, the film that is probably going to infuriate you the most that I have not seen, A Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the movie that always screws up when I'm making lists for Disney movies that I have seen. And you want to scratch them all. I have seen all the Disney movies. I haven't. I have not seen A Nightmare Before Christmas. I tried to watch it once at a girlfriend's place and I just didn't finish the movie. That's all I'm going to say. For some reason, this film has slipped my viewing for years at this point. I've not avoided it. I don't think the film looks wrong, looks bad or anything. I know a lot of information about it. I've won movie trivia quizzes answering questions about this movie. I know so much about it and yet I have not actually ever seen it. One of my best friends, it's his favorite movie of all time or at least his favorite animated movie of all time and he always gets angry when I tell him I haven't seen it. He is always shocked. He's always telling me to review this movie but I have never seen it therefore I have not been able to review it ever. This is the movie that drops the most jaws when I tell my close friends that I have never seen it because I love movies. I love animation. I have seen more Disney movies and more animated movies than anyone else I know and still this one, this big, very famous movie from Disney with Tim Burton behind it with all the merchandise that it still sells to this day and Ren has not seen a Nightmare Before Christmas. This is my number one. This is the one that shocks people the most. And I guess I'll have to fix that very soon. And so that's my list of 10 movies I have shockingly never seen as a film buff, a movie critic, a movie enthusiast, reviewer, whatever you want to call me. Drop it all down below your lists. Make a video response to this. Call me out. Tag me on Twitter when you put it up. If you put it up, I want to see your lists. I want to see what movies will shock me and others that you have not seen. So start the conversation down there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Luke for tagging me and putting me out on the spot like this to uh, unveil my deepest, darkest secrets to you. <laughs> Thank you so much once more for watching. You guys are the best. And if you're still watching but still haven't clicked the subscribe button, consider clicking it because if you're still watching, you enjoyed it on some level. Thank you so much once more. I'll see you very, very soon in more videos. And so until the next one, love each other and love the movies.